Okay, so what, what I'm going to do now is show you how I radius the neck. That's a really critical part of uh, making a bass guitar. And you really want it to be dead straight flat with an arc. And as the neck widens out, um, the arc is going to change because um, you want it to be a little, little tighter, a little big, uh, smaller arc, and then get progressively wider as it gets out here, which will allow the strings to sit at an exact evenness from a distance from the fretboard the entire uh, distance. So I used to have curved block sanders that I would sit there for two hours sanding these fretboards, trying to progressively make the arc a little more as I got down here. And I could never do it perfectly, and it would take two, at least two hours. It was the worst. And then this machine came along. This, is, um, this arm you can buy. Let me show you. This fits right in. I've mounted the neck with screws right onto this frame. It sits right in here, and it pivots. It swings. Here's a sander down here that's going around. And I can set the distance of the swing here, and I have a taller swing here. So the arc is, you know, it's something like 12 inches here. This, at this moment, this one's 16 inches here. What that does is I gradually, I start the sander and I swing this back and forth and the sander is going to progressively take more and more material off, but in a perfect arc and a perfect compound change. It's 12 inches here and somewhere it's 13, 14, 15 and finally gets to 16 here. It takes me about five minutes to do a neck and when I'm done with it, after I've gradually swung this back and forth as I'm sanding along, when I'm finished, it is perfect. So it's one of those things where a machine allows me to go be much more efficient, way faster, and does a better job. So that's what I'm always looking for, solutions like this that allows me to really stay in business because I can keep up with my orders and do a better job than I was able to do by hand before.